Roof rats will burrow into the earth if they need to. Oh, they're roof rats, John. Mm. Roof rats always stay up high. They come in along the roof line of the trees, and they never touch the ground. Mm. Wrong. Yeah. They will adapt. Think about the next family gathering you go to. You're with all your relatives. Sometimes, all right, I've been here two hours. Yeah. Right? It's the same thing with roof rats. They're all populating this ceiling. Hundreds of them. Cousins, uncles, nieces, nephews, whatever. They're all fighting for food. A couple of them say, you know what? I'm down on the ground. This thing is called soil. I'm going to dig a hole. I can get in here away from everybody. It's calm. I don't have to fight for territory. Oh, look, it's a cricket. Cricket tastes good. I don't have to fight for the food up in the attic or wherever. I like it down here. And then what do they do? They reproduce. And then those pups learn to gravitate to the soil and the burrow system. <clears throat> those critters are challenging. Give me a mouse project, let's work it. Give me a Norway rat project, let's work it. <clears throat> Roof rats? Wow. You literally have to figure it out and take a deep breath. Go st stare at Norway rats one night. Go sit by a dumpster, go sit by a park, and you watch them. Usually they're lonely. They're lone rodent. It could be an alpha, a beta, whatever. It could be a juvie. A juvenile runs over here, another one goes over there. Watch noise. They just fend for themselves. Maybe two together, then they start fighting. But roof rats, they never leave each other. You've got the adult, the mid one, and then the pups. And they travel together in a pack. If that adult doesn't go near that snap trap because it's already got nailed once or twice, the juvenile will be going to the snap trap. If that adult doesn't go in that bait station because he doesn't like it, the younger ones will be going to the bait station. And you watch them, they travel together. And if they have to speed up because maybe I walk into an area and I stamp my feet and they run, they all go together, which is pretty cool. But as they move together, they learn from each other. And they're probably the hardest guys to get into a device. Get them in it, get them near it. You want to catch one on a snap trap? Let's see if it'll even go near the snap trap before you even set it. But they will adapt no matter which way we look at it. And if you're going to sooner or later get some roof rat work, they're going to pop in and out. But if they're up high, and you're not the type of company or the individual who wants to go that high, then find somebody who will. <clears throat> because it's the companies that say, ah, I can't go up that high, we don't do that. You lose. Because if they are that high, you have to go up there. And you have to mount your devices and crawl around and figure out where they are. <clears throat>